So today I am going to show you how to make this really quick and simple little hexagon motif. Many of you who follow me on social media um, will have seen that I was stash busting essentially and I made this crochet blanket. And a lot of people were asking, how did I do it? What yarn? So that's what this little video is for. And in case you're wondering why my blanket is covered in cat hair, when I tried to film this tutorial a couple of days ago, my cat kept getting involved and this is what happened. Really? Why have you brought this up here? Can you just take that somewhere else? Apparently not. So, as you can see, that wasn't very successful. So I have opted to move my blanket out of the way in case he comes to find me again and join in. If you wanted to know the information on how I did the border on this blanket, etc., etc., all the details for it, then take a look at my blog here in the description and you can see all the photos and information about it there. So I'll just move that out of the way. But on that blanket, I used black. And of course, that is absolutely the worst color to try and show you on a video. So for this video, I'll be showing you with a white joining yarn. So, the yarns I use, let me just move that blanket. The yarns I use for this hexagon, it will work with any yarn, any size, but I personally used this James Brett Party Time Chunky, and this shade is PT1. And personally, I don't really like how it looks on the ball. I don't really like how it crochets up. So I've got a little stash of this that I hadn't really used until just messing about, I came up with this. And as a full blanket, it looks phenomenal, really. It, it looks much better than it does in the ball. It's very odd how things like that happen. And for the joining, I'm going to be using Signet Chunky Yarn. I love Signet Chunky Yarn. I use it for so much stuff. So I use the black for my blanket, but I'll be using the white for this tutorial. I'll be also using a six mil hook for this yarn. But like I say, it works with any yarn, any size, and it's really quick. It's just three rounds and you get a decent size motif if you're using chunky yarn. So let's move on and I will show you how I did it. Starting with your main color, we're gonna do the first two rounds of this hexagon. So you're gonna start with a magic circle. If you don't know how to do a magic circle, I have put a link to a video I have made showing you how it's done there in the description. And we're gonna be doing double crochet two together. And I have also done a little video Again, the links are just down there to show you how that's done too. So if either of those stitches confuse you or I'm going a bit too fast, just pause this video, take a look at those other ones I've done and then it should make more sense. So we're gonna start with a magic ring. Having just said all that about magic ring, if you absolutely detest it or you can't get on with it, you can substitute that and chain six and join them with a slip stitch. It means you'll get a little hole, this is one I did earlier. You get a hole in the center, which I mean is fine, but if you are after this neat closed look, you need to do it with a magic ring. But you can do it with a chain six substitute. The full written pattern for this also on my blog down here. Starting with a magic ring, you are going to chain two. One, two. And then you are going to do a double crochet into the ring. Double 
that counts, your chain two and your double crochet, count as your first double crochet two together, like a little mock stitch. Then you are going to chain three. And into your ring, you are going to do a double crochet two together. So that's a yarn over, into the ring, yarn over, come back through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, and then you're going to yarn over and go back into the ring, yarn over, come back through, four loops, yarn over, pull through the first two, and then when you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. That's a double crochet, two together. Chain three. And then another double crochet, two together, into that center space. Oops, so yarn over, go back through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, into the space, yarn over, come back through, yarn over, pull through two, on over, pull through all three. Chain three. Like I said, if I'm going too fast, the double crochet twos together, check out my video where I show you closer, slower, exactly how to do it. So you've got one, two, three. So you're going to do another double crochet two together. chain three double crochet two together chain three one more time double crochet two together chain three. So you'll have six clusters for the double crochet two together and six sets of the chain threes. So before you do anything else you're just going to pull the tail end of your magic ring to pull it closed. If you're doing a chain six slip stitch with a little loop to close then obviously this doesn't apply but if you close that and it gives you a nice neat little center. So now to finish this first round, you're going to slip stitch, not into your stitches, but into this chain space here. So just pop your hook straight into that gap, just in there, catch the yarn at the back, bring the yarn through the space and through the loop on your hook. And that's round one. And so now you're ready for round two. So you're going to chain two, and do a double crochet into that same chain space. That, those two stitches together count as like a mock double crochet two together. Chain three. And then you're gonna do a double crochet two together in that same space. chain one and then into this next space here you're going to do double crochet two together chain three double crochet two together all in that same space chain one, same again into the next chain three space from the round below, double crochet two together, chain three, double crochet two together, all into that space.
chain one. Same again, double crochet two together, chain three, double crochet two together, all into that same space. Chain one, you got it, double crochet two together, chain three, double crochet two together, in that same space. It's really hard to crochet whilst looking through a screen rather than looking at what I'm crocheting. skill, <laughs> well I'm not very good at. Chain one, and into your last chain three space, double crochet two together, chain three, double crochet two together. So you should have 12 double crochet two togethers and six chain three spaces with little chain ones in the side. So your final thing is to chain one and then just like on the round below, you're not going to slip stitch to a stitch, you're gonna slip stitch straight into that just space. Just slip stitch there. And then cut your yarn. See how quick this is? So you're just going to cut your yarn, just pull it a little bit tight. And then you are ready for the white round. So move that to the side, bring in your white yarn. and you're going to join it into any of the chain three spaces that you made on the last round. So to join your yarn, make a little slip knot. And then you put your hook into the space, then you put your slip knot on, pull it up tight, and then just bring, might, sometimes it's worth hanging on to this tail at the back because it will come through with you. You can weave it in afterwards though, so don't worry too much. Just bring it so that it's at the front. Then you are going to chain three, like so. So like I say, later on when you weave in your ends, you can tuck that one behind and you won't see that it's there. And then you are going to double crochet into this space. Chain two. And you are gonna do two more double crochets into the same space. Just normal double crochets. There's one. And that's two. So that forms your corner. And then into your chain one space, you're going to work three double crochets. That's two, and that's three. And then into your chain three space, you're going to do two double crochets. Two, chain two, and two more double crochets into that chain three space. Hopefully, 
I picked white because it's easier to see, but hopefully if I put the black down, hopefully you can see where I'm putting the stitches. So into your chain one space, three double crochets. your chain three space you're going to put two double crochet chain two two double crochet all into that same space so you can see you're forming little corners and little sides corner side corner and you're going to keep going round three double crochet into this chain one space mind that little tail that's one two three And then into your chain three space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Three double crochet into that chain one space. And into your corner, the chain three space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Three double crochet into your chain one space. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into your chain three space. Nearly there. And then in your last chain one space, three double crochet. And then to finish, you're going to slip stitch to the top of your first chain three. It's a little, little slip stitch. And you can snip your yarn. And that's it. Super simple, super fast. It grows really nicely. And what I'll do for my next video is I'll talk a bit more about joining because for this one, this is great for sewing it together. But if you wanted to join as you go, it's worth putting in extra chains. But I can talk to you more about joining as you go in my next video. So please shout if there was anything you didn't understand if I went too quickly, check out my links down here in the description for all the information on my blanket, written pattern, how to do the other stitches, etc. And I hope you enjoyed this little cute hexagon. Thank you. Bye.